So it's been a while since I last had to whip out a calculator to do a, a video on the channel. I used to do that a lot with Marvel Strike Force videos, but I've really not had uh, the chance or the opportunity to do it at all for Marvel's Avengers videos until today. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the, the champion system. It is a system that when it's done correctly and if it's working correctly it can really add a lot of longevity to the game because if you have a, a session where you're playing for hours on end and you have bad RNG at least at the end of that session you'll feel that you've walked away with something so that's on the basis that the champion system is actually tuned correctly and it is rewarding at the moment it doesn't look to be that way at all and I'm going to break all that down rather than just complaining I don't like the system. I've spent a fair bit of time the last few days going in, upgrading certain perks, taking pictures of numbers before and after and doing a lot of testing in the training room so I've got exact percentages for the upgrades you actually get for this. Now before we go in and we, we break them all down and we talk about why the system at the moment is either broken or massively under tuned, just a bit of context. Prior to the, the champion system going live I did actually contact the developers for some clarification on how the nodes would work and I was told they were all really working like flat gains but that's not the case at all and also on top of that as well we recently had a stream, it's a Friday stream you get the developers and this one was only with Phil, he was getting bombarded with questions and one of the ones he answered was in regards to the champion system so for context for this particular video I'm actually going to play that this now. Oh yeah, so champion levels, I'll, I'll talk about it now since you, you guys were asking. So here's the thing with champion levels. Um, as far as we know, they're working the way that they're supposed to. Now, here's what doesn't work the way it's supposed to, is the way that the stats are being displayed. Um, the system is very, very similar to what we've been doing with the comic books for a while. Uh, now, that doesn't mean there's no issues. We're still looking into it. But the problem is that some of the stats affect some base stats that you have a harder time seeing. So when you kind of look at it, it doesn't really give you a good idea of what you're actually going to get out of it. And we totally recognize that. So we're talking about it internally. In between Gear 2.0 and this, there's a lot of stuff that we want to show differently, especially in terms of stats, so that it makes a lot more sense and it's a lot more obvious what you're getting out of these things. So that's something we're going to work on. We're trying to see if we can get a, uh, do an update for champion levels so that you have a much better idea of what you're actually getting. Uh, so we'll we'll have an update on that as soon as we have something. But our director of UI was out this week. So as soon as he's back, we'll talk to him. We want to do something so that you can have an easier time seeing exactly what you get out of stats. So I would say then there's three important points you want to take from this. The first one Phil is saying as far as we know they are working but the stats aren't being displayed correctly. So the fact he says as far as we know that means they are open to it not working as intended. He states as well the stats are being displayed correctly so what I've actually done when I've been in and I've done some testing and you'll see this in the screenshots coming up. I've actually took some screenshots of the stat pages before and after. I upgrade any nodes but I've also got gameplay images as well so if it's a stat for example that should affect your damage. I've took comparisons of flat damage numbers before and after so we can actually calculate them that way. He did mention during this little section there that it doesn't mean there aren't any issues with the system. I think there most definitely are and my big worry of what he mentioned is that some of the stats and the way they work is are based on your base stats which we don't actually see and this is why the gains could be a lot lower but when we break all this down you'll see some of the gains are, are so unbelievably low. There's there's just no way the system can be working even if it's based on base stats and if it is and it's and they're getting the intended gains then they need to massively tune them up but with all that context in place let's now jump in and let's start breaking all this down so we're going to work our way from left to right through the, the tree then. So we start off with the melee stat here. So we can see our melee damage at the moment. It's sitting at 1061. This is before I actually upgrade. So let's check it after I do the upgrade. So it then moves up to 1064. Now the gain should be 3%, but instead of 3% in this stat page, it's only 3%. That seems like far too much of a coincidence for me that they've not dropped a percentage somewhere with this. But what we're actually doing now is show off some gameplay and see the damage numbers and then from there I'll calculate them. For these gameplay damage numbers then, there's certain abilities where it's a fixed amount of damage you do with the ability in question. So I've made sure that's the abilities I've actually used. So this is before I actually upgraded. It's 2,709 damage I was doing. And then this here is after the supposed 3% upgrade, which is 2,716. Now let's break this down percent-wise. 
So as we can see here, it should be 3% you get per melee point that you invest. So the, the stats went from 1061 to 1063, which was a gain of 3 points. If we look at the damage, it went from 2709 to 2716. That is only a 0.25% gain, which is absolutely awful. There's no way it can be intended that it, it's meant to be as low as that. If it is... That's just massively undertuned when we look at their nodes, and they have to go back to the drawing board with us. But that's the melee stat. Let's check out the ranged one now. So we've got our before and after again, so it's 1086 it's sitting at at the moment, so let's now do the upgrade. And you can see it then jumps to 1089. Once again, it's just 3 rather than 3% it looks to be gaining there. So this is your range damage number in-game, so that is 5098. And that jumps up to 5112. So let's break down the percents now. So once again, then this should be a 3% gain. So the actual stat goes from 1086 to 1089. Three points once again seems too much of a coincidence to me. The actual damage numbers in gain go from 5098 to 5112, which when we calculate it, it's a 0.27% gain. Again, absolutely tiny, less than 10% of what it actually says on the page. Now, the next one we have is the heroic damage. So your heroic damage would be your heroic effectiveness, so at the moment it's sitting at 2676. This is after we've done that upgrade, and once again you guessed that it, it's went up by just a flat 3, it's went up to 2679, so let's check out the numbers in game. So again I've used that heroic ability where the damage is actually flat, so this was at Assault Heroic, it's coming in at 70,096. And this is it after the upgrade, so it's 70,152. Now let's break down the percents here. So this one that should be 3% is actually the worst one in the game by a wide margin. So once again it goes from 2676 to 2679, a flat 3 points that we gain. The damage was going from 70,096 to 70,152. That is at 0.08% gain per point you get for that, which I know I'm laughing, but yeah, I, I just can't believe how low the gains actually are compared to what they should be. So yeah, it's most definitely not working right. But let's look at the crit damage now. For the crit damage then we can see this is currently sitting at 339%. When we upgrade this stat it does jump up to 344. And this is your before and after numbers here. The numbers are getting a little bit longer, so I won't read out the number, but you can see it on screen. This is the before, so let's check out that after. So this is your after number that we're getting here. So once again, let's break down the percentages. So with this stat here, I'm not massively confident in how it should actually scale, because I don't know how crit damage works, and I possibly should have said at the start of the video, but math really isn't my strong point at all. But the way this works out on the stat sheet, it does show that it adds a flat 5%. Damage numbers wise, when you get in game, I'm not sure because it is crit damage. Should that equate to a flat 5% damage? Let me know if you're a math person in the comments below. But what we are getting regardless for that is 1.47% gain. Certainly higher than the other ones. Again, let me know in the comments below how this should actually scale and if it sounds right or not. But let's check out crit chance next. This is a nice easy one. So at the moment then, with my Hulk, I really need to start investing in some proficiency because his crit chance before any upgrade is just 12.9%. We can see this jumps up here to 13.9%. Now I don't think we really need to break this down, so I'll make it nice and quick. But you can see crit chance is working as it says it should. So it's 1% per point, and we can see it did go up 1%. Now a flat 1% crit chance compared to a 0.25% additional melee damage is so much better. It's just in another league, so this is why the... I feel that if supposedly the melee percentages are working, they're massively under tuned compared to the likes of the crit chance. That doesn't mean nerf the crit chance, it means buff the melee percent if it is working as intended. Next up we have your stun and status meter damage. This should go up 2% per point, so it's sitting at 68.5%. After the upgrade here, you can see that it does go up 2%, it goes up to 70.5%. So let's check out the, the gameplay numbers now. So what I've done here is I've used an attack that's got status damage. In this instance, it does 1,736 damage. And then after the upgrade, you can actually see it's doing the, the same amount of damage here. So let's break this down and I'll give a bit more context on this one. 
So this here, as much as the, the wording of it, when it says stunning status damage, would suggest that it would potentially increase your status damage. doesn't look to do that. I don't know if when, for example, if you had a dot, like a gamma dot, which would be really hard to track, if it would increase that, for example. If you do know about that, then let me know in the comments below. But whether or not this one's working or not, it's hard to say. But at the moment, I would avoid it regardless. We move on to the heroic charge rate. The one we'll focus on is the assault heroic charge rate. Currently it's sitting at 43.6%. This is normally subject to diminishing returns when you get to round about this rating on it. So we can see here after the upgrade it jumps up to 46.1%. So that is a flat 2.5% you're getting from that. Overall then, this node is working as intended, actually incredibly strong. To be able to get an extra 12.5% gain across all your heroics, and as far as I'm aware, when you actually pick up your heroic orbs, this increases how much you get from them as well. If that is definitely the case, then this is a really good stat to invest in. So we have a perk chance next. This one is really pretty difficult to explain, but it's currently sitting at 11.4% before the upgrade. It should go up to 14.4%, so let's see if it does. So we can see this jumped up to 14.4%, but it's more complex than this. Let's actually look at some gear for Hulk from a before and after as well. So we can see then with Hulk, for example, here you get 16% on the top perk, the chance for activating, and then you get 145 on the bottom perk. So let's check it after I actually put the extra 3% into the, the perk increase chance. So we can see here the, the top perk jumps up by 0.4%, the bottom perk doesn't actually increase at all, which is really interesting, I didn't expect that to be the case, but it is. So let's break it down now. So if we break all this down, when you look at your stat page, it does go from 11.4 to 14.4, so this is working correctly, but it's just underwhelming the way it works. What happens is the percentage has to interact with the percentage on the gear. It's not, it's not a flat gain that you're actually getting on your gear, that's why it goes from 16% to 16.4. That part is working, however, that bottom stat that didn't go up by anything, that's most definitely not working. So this is another stat that looks to not be working on, on certain perks for some reason. We move on to status resistance next here, this is under the intensity stats, 11.5% is sitting in, it should be a 2% gain we get. And that there indeed is what we actually get, it goes up to 13.5 there. So that one there looks to be working as mentioned, going from 11.5 to 13.5, it's a 2% gain, the only issue is it's really impossible to actually test this in game, so as much as it looks like it's working via the stat page, I'm not actually sure, because we can't test it. We move on to max willpower next, which is a pretty important stat. This one is sitting at 16,812 at the moment on Hulk for me, so let's now do the upgrade. This is what we have, which should be an additional 4%, it's 16,870. So that's most certainly not 4%. Let's break down the exact numbers for it. So with this pretty important stat here, it's actually coming out at less than 10% of what we would expect it to be. So it says it's 4% per point, but calculating it, it comes out at a, a very lowly 0.34% per gain. Simply not worth it at all. Now let's jump on to defense next. So we can see that Hulk has been skipping leg day here. I don't have any defense at all. It's only sitting at 13%. It should jump up to 14 and there we go, that did jump up that additional 1% there. So this stat here is actually similar to the status resistance in and it's almost impossible to actually test it. We see on the stat page it goes up by 1%, but are we actually gaining that? I genuinely don't know and I've got no idea how we would test that. So we're on to our final stat then, it's willpower recovery, currently sitting at 181%. We can see then after upgrading this jumps up to 186%, so that is the 5% the that we should actually be getting there. Again, technically it's one that we can't really test, but let's break all this down now and just do a quick summary of all the stats that we've covered. So we'll quickly work through the stats in the same order we looked at them. So your melee should be 3% additional you get per point, but it's currently less than a 10 for that. It's 0.25%. Your range, which again should be 3%, is coming in at less than a 10th again at 0.27. Heroic damage is way down there, exceptionally low. I really don't know what's going on with that one. It should be 3%. Instead, it's 0.08% gain. 
your crit damage, admittedly I'm not sure how this should calculate it, but it says it's 5 and it comes out at 1.47. You then have your crit chance, nice and easy, it should be a flat 1% and a flat 1% is what we gain. Now this stat is actually very important because if we were to look at the other stats and for them all, for them all to be relatively tuned, the, the same power as the crit chance then quite clearly a 0.25% gain in melee damage doesn't even come close to your flat 1% gain in your crit chance. That says to me the system isn't working at all. There's no way even if it's based off base stats this is tuned correctly and if they think it is then they need to go back and they need to run the numbers again on it. Looking at the, the stun and status damage this was an interesting one that I've learned from. It looks like this is potentially just the build up of potentially stun that it's affecting and the status damage part may apply to dots which means it's not really worth it on the, the majority of the different effects you have. You have your heroic charge rate, probably the, the winner to be honest out of all of them. It's a 2.5% gain across all your heroics, not subject to diminishing returns as much as the stat is. So this one is a really good one. I, I like this. This is how the rest of the stats should actually be. They should be as useful as this. You have your perk chance, which is still relatively useful but I would prefer it just to be a little bit overpowered and just give us that additional 3% for each point that goes straight onto your gear. I really would like that but I do admit that it would be pretty OP at the same time. States resistance goes up by 2% but there's no way to actually check that. Your max willpower is coming in at less than 10% of what it should be. It should be 4% coming in at 0.34%. Your defense increase is 1% but again there's no way to test it. And then you have your willpower recovery which is your 5% and that's what we are actually gaining there. So that's everything you can see. A large majority of those stats and really important ones are coming in way below what the expectations actually are. So once again I'll state that even if these are based on base stats and we're not seeing them correctly, they're tuned far too low. Tune all the ones that are low up to the, the same type of power as your crit chance and your heroic charge rate and it will make the, the system feel so much more useful and it will make me want to go back to farming because honestly I was farming a ton at first when it first came out. Once I started to find out with these damage numbers it took the shine off it for me which is really pretty disappointing. But if you've done any math yourself let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think about all this. Is it working as intended? Is it broken? What the, the heck is going on with it? But let me know what you think in the comments below and I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for tuning in, stay safe and I'll see you all again soon.